Hey there everyone, my name is JW and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another awesome tank tutorial for you. But first, I'm going to mention the Discord server slash tankyard. Like always, if you want to receive a shout out at the start of the video, look no further than the tankyard in the Discord server. Also, you can request a vehicle that may get built in the future. Uh, also in the tankyard. So all you have to do is join the Discord server, link is down in the description, and enter either your Java bedrock xbox playstation or nintendo gamer tag and you'll be entered into the tank yard here where you receive a shout out to start the video and also have a chance to request a future build so if that sounds good to you let's get right into it and today we are building this the french arl 44 a cold war era uh, heavy tank slash tank destroyer it's debated so let's get right into it so we're gonna head down to the French French section and build ourselves another Cold War era tank. Even though this was designed in World War II, it was never built until 1947. And I forgot the little doobie up there. There we go. Okay. But yeah, this wasn't built until uh, 19, 1947 to 1951, where 60 of them were built. So let's get right into it. Today you'll be needing Paul Sanderzite. Stone brick slab, stone brick stairs, stone slab, stone stairs, andersite wall, green terracotta, nether brick slab, and block of coal. Alright, so once we find the spot where we want to start, we're going to start right here with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we're going to double them up on the outside. We're going to skip 3 and do the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And double them up. There we go, the base of our vehicle. Then we're going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there we go. Now remember, folks, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause, rewatch, rewind, and do whatever you need to do to get this awesome tank into your world. Let us continue. So here we're going to put one and one placeholders, and then put slabs up, slabs up, and on the back. We're going to do more placeholders, but instead we're going to do stairs. Upside down stairs. And there we go. Now we're going to put more blocks on top of those. And there we go. And then more upside down stairs. There we are. Now we're going to come to the front and do one, two, one, two. And then upside down slabs again. There we go. And then we're going to put slab on top and slab on top. Now we're going to build a bit of different suspension and hole and everything so we're going to put a stone stairs backwards like that then a stone slab right here and then full blocks of green all the way down there we go and on this side as well there we go all right so next we're going to have a four space gap right here and put one two so you have one, two, three, four, four blocks exposed. Same on this side. Then we're gonna put an upside down stair here and here, and a slab here and here. Next, we're gonna do another two green blocks right here. And then we're gonna put two slabs on each side. And then another upside down stair like so. And in fact, you can just do another upside down stair like so. And there we go. And then two more f green blocks. And then a row of slabs on top, like so. Some brick slabs. And then we're going to finish off by connecting them to right here. So one, two, three, four. Four rows, like that. And on the front, we're just going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that will give us our tracks and suspension and side walls. So we no longer need these materials, but we will keep the rest of the materials. All right, starting at the front of the hole, we're gonna do one, two, three stairs, and then another one, two, three. Big upper glacius on this one. And then we're gonna have stone brick, we're gonna have stone slabs coming on the bottom. Going all the way back. And then to right here, there we go. Where we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then we're going to have our upside down stone stairs. Another row of green. And then more upside down stairs. 
then we're gonna have one two three four five and down one two three four five and down and here you can just actually wall that off and have your engine compartment here your fighting compartment here all right starting on the back on the engine deck we're gonna do three slabs and another three slabs two blocks of coal as our engine vents and then a slab in the middle and then two more slabs up like so on the right hand side of the vehicle we're going to do two slabs like so and on the left hand side of the vehicle it's going to be all another brick we're going to put another brick right there and up 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 keep going keep going to about right there yeah there you go that's your exhaust as well all right so next we're going to come right here and do one two three four there's your little fighting compartment here for the driver and assistant driver and now we shall build the turret so we're gonna do one two three four five six do a little O like that with a two block space gap in the center we're gonna go up in the center and then out on this side we're gonna bring this out and have an upside down stair like so like that but on this side we're just gonna have a normal stair we're gonna put a slab here and a slab here and put stairs on those slabs on the left one we're gonna put a full block but on the right one we're gonna put a slab all right so next we're gonna do one two three four five six seven eight nine and put one right there that will do the turret there we go Next, we're going to put a slab right there, and then one, two, three, four, five. Five slabs there. Right here, we're going to put stairs to our commander's cupola. And right here, we're going to put Andrew's light wall. And now we're going to add the 90 millimeter gun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Block. And then like that. And there we go. Uh, the base build is done at this point and now it's time for the cosmetics so for cosmetics you're going to need chest green banner iron bars dark oak wood trapdoor iron trapdoor tripwire hook dark oak wood button green carpet and dark oak wood fence gate these are going to go on the back of the turret like so there we go Next, your tripwire hooks are going to go on either side of the rear of the turret. There we go. We're going to put one right there on the iron bars and then four right here with one, two, three, four. There we go. Chests. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Chests are done. Let's grab a few more materials which will be spruce sign polished blackstone button and then of course our item frames of glass panes all right so moving on to the iron trap doors we're gonna put three below three right here with one underneath the gun one two here then one two three four there and one two three four there and one two right there and one on the back of the turret. There we go. That's all your iron trap doors. Next we'll do our dark oak wood trap doors. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go, and you can put one right there, eight. All right, next we're going to go to green banners, which is going to start right here with one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and of course in the center right here with one, two, three, four. There we go. There's your green banners done. There are spruce signs going to go right there, and that's done. Next, your green carpet, we're going to one, two, 
And then all along the top part here. Here we're actually going to need some more iron trapdoors and push them below the chest. And we actually took that out one too many. There we go. Now we're good. And again, just bring this out. There we go. And that will do that. And we can just put one right there. All right, your polished blackstone buttons is going to go right here. One, two, three, four. And we're going to put one right there. And then also one, two, three, four. The dark oak wood buttons are going to go on the road wheels. There we go. And on this side. And there we are. And your last bit of material is going to be your item frames. Which is going to go one, two. And then your glass panes. Like so. To finish off with the headlights. And there you go, my friends. You have successfully built the French Cold War Heavy Tank Slash Tank Destroyer ARL 44. Uh, quite a magnificent tank indeed. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever they're going to move to. Hit that subscribe button as well. I love a new edition of my wonderful, wonderful subscriber. Thank you guys so, so much for doing what you do. Like and subscribing and sharing and all that. It really means a lot to me. means a lot to the channel. means a lot to community. Speaking of community, let us grow our community even bigger by joining the Discord server and liking and sharing this video. Make it known to everyone who that Minecraft tank guy is. And if that sounds good, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! <laughs>